This is the plaintiff, Sean Felder. He says he was overcharged at the defendant's restaurant, and he refuses to give a credit on his credit card. He ordered one bottle of Moet champagne, but was charged for two. The owner said he would write him a check for the error and send it, but he didn't. And here they are. He's suing for $500 for the overcharge, plus stress and aggravation. This is the defendant, Mark Quilter. He says he admits the plaintiff was overcharged by one bottle of champagne, and he was offered a refund on his credit card. He refused to provide the number, insisted on a cashier's check, and a formal letter of apology. He continued to harass his staff because he must be a bored guy with nothing better to do. Now, he's suing for stress? Please. He's accused of charging for too much bubbly. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come forward. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Sean Felder, you are suing Taj Lounge, Correct. represented here by the owner, Mark Quilter? Correct. Okay. For $500 because they overcharged you an extra bottle of champagne that, according to you, you did not drink. Tell me what happened. Well, on November 2nd, me and a couple of friends had a birthday get together at Taj, you know, celebrate my 51st birthday. And the, Mar the manager of Maryland at the time said, no problem, you can get yourself to organize and stuff. And for strange reason, when I broke my birthday cake, she charged me $50. And I'm saying, well, why am I being charged $50 to bring my own birthday cake? That was no part of a written contract agreement. So I find that kind of Did you odd. have a written contract agreement? No, there was no written contract agreement. This is a restaurant, right? This is like a nightclub lounge. A nightclub night lounge. lounge. Right, right. Okay. So I'm saying to her, why Did am I Did you have dinner? No, we just had a little get together, you know, okay. drink stuff like right. that. So you ordered one bottle of champagne? Right, and you know, with the birthday cake, and I brought And other myself. drinks or no other drinks? Just the one bottle of champagne? No, just the one bottle of champagne and okay. you know, friends. When you brought the cake, what did that mean? Did you ask them to take it back into the kitchen and then it came out with waiters? Well, or when I you brought, brought the cake, it in your, your pocket Honor, and you. The manager of Maryland told me they'll hold it. I had a security at the time. My personal security escort me upstairs to like a little private uh, room, like a little VIP, and I had some other friends there, okay? So at the okay. time. So did you pay for Is there a charge for a VIP room? No, it was free. It was free. It okay. was free. Just I didn't understand why I was being charged to bring my own birthday cake for fifty dollars. I didn't understand that routine. So well, it's a cake. It's a. It's just like a when you bring your own wine and they charge you a corkage fee. Right, it is right. not uncommon for restaurants right. to charge a cake fee. Yeah, I'm fifty dollars seems a little yeah, steep, kind of strange, but I don't know right. what kind of places is. I'm right, going to find right, out now. Right. So right. you go to a VIP room, right. a separate room. Separate Nobody room. else is in there but you and your buddies. Me and my friends. Right. And exactly. what what do you order from them? Well, just the one bottle of champagne? Well, the first order, I have the receipt here. I ordered some fries, some, you know, like, okay, so, you know okay. chicken and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. which I already paid. Uh -huh. And at that time, the server's name was Ordell, some young African-American okay, whoever female. it was. Right, mm -hmm. okay. So the second time, I was with some friends, um, she strangely... Is this, I'm sorry, when you said the first time, is that on a different day? No, it was the same day. Same, the same right, night, right the there. Second, okay, right, so night. the next, you decide right. to... Right. Yeah, you decide to, to stick around. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. And exactly. then what happens? Okay, so the second time, she strangely tried to charge me two twenty eight for a second bottle of Moet, which I never ordered. And I didn't understand that. So there was a, a completely second charge. Right. Well, we had separate times. You know, the first bill I ordered was like six fourteen. The second time was like around 8, 9, 15, okay, something Okay, so like you that. were ordering twice. Right, exactly. Okay. okay, it's that the second order had one extra bottle of champagne on it that right. it shouldn't have had. They should have had, What exactly. did it have that it should have had? Well, it should have had, it says, I just took your receipt, the Moet, which I never ordered. I have it right here if you want to see. What else? And nothing basic about it. Okay, I don't say that myself. is where I'm not getting you. Right. I don't understand. But so if the only thing a second bill was charging was a bottle you never had, why no. did you sign it? I don't know if never signed anything. Did he sign that second no, charge? No, he did not. Okay. No, he did not. Okay, so did someone present you, though, that night with that? With that right here. Right, yeah, and you receipt. said, wait, wait, you're wrong. Right. I never ordered that. Right. And then what'd they say to you before you guys left? What'd they say to you? She never, never said anything. And that's how I was trying to find a manager to see if I could get this address, but I couldn't find nobody. So you guys just left? I just left, and I tried to call that Saturday morning. I left the email saying, hey, Taj, it's Sean Feld. We had a mishap of overcharge of a Moet. Could you please address the situation? I never got a call three, four days later, no emails. I felt like I was being taken advantage and no one cared about my situation. So that Thursday, November 8th, you know, I got a call from this girl, Marilyn, and I say, hey, Marilyn, um, nobody called and emailed me. What's going on here? And she explains to me, hey, Sean, I'm sorry. We took so long through 
address your situation. I said, okay, Marilyn, um, I need to be reimbursed because I never ordered the second bottle of wet from the server. Okay, well. He never signed it. it, but it did get charged to his card. That's correct. Right. Okay, go on. So the general manager, uh, Collins, Ms. Collins, I said, Ms. Collins, um, I'm being told to speak to you. Who is going to reimburse me my 200 something from the Moet under the order? So she goes, well, we can go for your credit card. I said, ma'am, credit card, why should I go for a credit card? And then Isn't also, that how it was charged? Right. But I'm so saying, then why also, not go through a credit well, card? Well, I didn't trust them. I didn't know how they do right, reimbursements. But, well, the, I mean, you do know how you're a grown man. You right, know exactly right. how reimbursements are. Right. But, okay. It's on your bill, then it's off your bill before right. your bill even comes to your house. Right. That's how it works. Right. But, but so I'm, she wanted you to give her the last for, four digits, you said, right, of the, the credit card number. And I, did, and I felt very uncomfortable doing that. What can anybody do with the last four digits? Right. That's the whole point of the last four well, digits thing. Also, with the birthday cake, why am I being charged $50 to bring my own birthday cake? There was no written contract stating that. So what was that all about? Okay, so let me hear from you. Uh, so um, <clears throat> I first uh, got in contact with Mr. Felder on the 19th, which is approximately two weeks later. Within that two weeks, he's, Mr. Felder is right. He originally sent an email. Uh, our office opened the following Monday. An investigation was, was performed, but when Marlon did call, after speaking to the general manager, after speaking to Mr. Collins, she called on Thursday. And it, yes, she asked, could she have the last four digits of his credit card? That way we could look up the charge and reimburse the gentleman. He refused to give the last four digits. Um, I came to work on the 19th. I was informed of the situation, so I listened. So you first learn about it on the 19th? <coughs> Correct. After 17 days of stewing. Who are these two fellows? This is uh, my events manager and okay. this is my partner. And did, who, did either of them know about it before I the did. 19th? He did, yeah. Okay. What were <coughs> you doing to calm him down? So... Initially, when the, the call on the Thursday... I could listen to them all day. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, if a merchant overcharges a customer on a credit card, and then the customer realizes it and says, you overcharged me, and the guy says, yeah, yeah I, I did, um, can you demand cash back, or is all you're expected to get um, a reverse hitting on the credit card? You can demand it, but you're not going to get it. All you're, all you're entitled to is credit back on the credit card. Is that right? Yes, it is right. So you better hope that it's go back, it goes back on your credit card. But it takes time to do a reversal, right? Yes, it takes a couple of days. That's not fair. Days. Well, it, it kind of is fair. Kind of is? Yeah. Oh, wow, you convinced me. <laughs> going inside the courtroom. On the Thursday when the initial... Uh, talking to Sonia and he not giving the four digits of the credit card. I brought it to the general manager who was on duty that night. We said we have to figure out whether, you know, if he's not going to give us the four digits of the card, did he get the bottle of champagne? We checked into the cameras, we looked into it, and we realized that there was an error there, but he still hadn't given us the four digits of the card. He said he was going to send us mail, and that's as far as we had gone. He was going to send you what? He was going to send us a letter. A letter. Yes, okay. and uh, he was going to explain everything that happened. And he kept asking about the cake fee, which we said we had already talked about when he came in. He had brought in an envelope and it had been handed over. And basically... Wait, say that part about the cake fee again. So when he came to the venue, uh, when he arrived at the venue, he actually handed over the cake fee immediately when he came in. Because Is that accurate? Yes, Your Honor. And if that's accurate, then how are you looking me in the eye and telling me we never talked about a cake fee? I never signed a contract. I had no idea. Why are you saying that? If you gave the cake fee in as soon as you walked in, of course they talked about a cake fee. All right, go Wait. on. So then uh, a few days prior to mentioning it to uh, Phil, I basically called him up on the phone. and You I guys are smart to get the cake fee in advance. Go ahead. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I called him up on the phone to go over and try and get the four digits again so we could refund the credit card because we'd now discovered that the Moe was not in given fact, to his table, right. and given to another table, and right. it wasn't to him. Right. And uh, he basically said, no, I'm not doing this right now. And he said that he was uh, had something going on with his mother or grandmother. He couldn't talk to call back at a certain time at his convenience, and he named the time, and he hung up on me. Did you and call that was back? The last. And not the next day. That's when I went straight to him, and then he called. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, so on the, the 19th, closer. The 19th, Why? The closer. Well, yeah, you have, said, a, I'll take you have over. a more so patient. So on the 19th, yeah. I called him, and he hung up. So then I proceeded to text him. Listen, I'm the owner of Taj. If you want my help, I'm glad to help you. This has been going on long enough. I want to hear the resolve this. And then we went through a series of texts, which I have here, um, explaining, you know, both sides, and I'll help you. Um, he insisted he wanted a cashier's check. He wasn't going to give his credit card. I'm like, fine. I also want a, you know, an apology written. I'm like, you know what? I'll write you an apology. No problem. Um, I proceeded to get the cashier's check for him, which then I took a, a picture and I sent it via text. And at that point, he's like, well, I want 270. I took a 
uh, a picture again of the letter he had sent us in the letter request, $225.53. Which was the amount of Which the... Which was the amount of the overcharge. Right. To round it off, I got a check for 200 and I believe, what is it, 256 or you know, 54, whatever, just to round it off in round numbers. When it was 225.98 so was the So 226 was the check, I believe. Okay, so then... So then he proceeded to, to uh, uh, text me again that he was unhappy and he wanted a letter, for, a letter of apology. Um, and then he didn't feel, you know, he should have paid the cake fee that it wasn't written contract, which I said, you know, that's always verbalized. Mr. Felder, do you like Taj? Do you like going there? Why are you doing all this? After, after, after that night. I, felt, I, I know, rude. but you were, okay, so you yeah. end up being right. The, they end up being wrong, and then they want to make right. it right and give you back the money for the champagne, which honor. typically is done through giving you a credit on your credit card. You don't want it that way. You would like a series of smoke signals and yeah. whatever your demands <laughs> yeah. are, the letter M stricken from the English alphabet, whatever yeah. it is you want, yeah. and they're like, okay, letter yeah. of apology yeah. and the cashier's check. Here it is. Yeah. Like, this is so amicable. It could have been so amicable. And then all of a sudden, you know, the owners of Taj. Yeah, you're up there. You got, you got it going on. You get a table when you cut. It's so great. It could be so great. But you Honor. turned it into, ah. Your Honor. It's like, your Honor. why? No, you're out of nothing. $225.98. Verdict for the, po you never yeah. sent them the check, right? I never got the check. No, I still have the check, yes. You said, okay. He, so refused the, to, he refused to take yeah, it. No. I got it. I got it. Verdict no. for the plaintiff, $225.98, plus your court costs. No, you don't get a cake fee you paid because you agreed to pay. No. And no, you don't get double for stress. Okay? <laughs> right. Goodbye, folks. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the plaintiff is at least going to get the money back for the bottle of champagne, not $500, which he wanted. Correct. <laughs> we were willing to reimburse him his money, but this is a clear case of the kind of nonsense you've got to deal with in the bar business, and it's a win for us today. Yeah. Well, Straight time waster. Waster, yes. Straight time waster. I've got to ask you, what do you call, we know a corking fee is for bringing your own wine, but what do you call a cake fee? Is it just a cake fee? Is it cake cake fee is to slicing? accept it, slicing it, presenting it, yep. storing it, refrigerating it, then we box it up afterwards, we present it when you're leaving. So there's a fee involved in oh. that. I, but you call it. What do you call it? It's a cake, a cake, a cake fee. fee. Okay, yes. very good. I learned something. Never knew there you that. Go. Education. <laughs> Education. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Take I'm care. sorry. I'm you know, way. you had to come to court. Thank you. It could have been very simple. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome, Mr. Felder. The judge thinks you went too far. What do you think? think? So. No way. I didn't go too far. Here's my thing. I got taken advantage. Okay. The lady should have been more clear about the cake situation, and also, why would you wait four days and three different people of management to? What do you get mean the she, she should have been more clear about that? Apparently, you paid for it when you went in. Right, but I wasn't told about fifty dollars bring your own birthday cake. Come on, really? Are you serious? Come on now, really? And another thing, a club like that, they got to be more professional. Three or four different people had I had to speak to about reimbursing my money. Okay. I should have got more, but at least I still won. That's no right. big thing. You get the money back. Right, exactly. Happy with that? You, I'm happy with you're that. You're happy. I'm okay, happy good. All you. right, goodbye. All right, thank you. <laughs> Harvey? You know, uh, Doug, ironically, the plaintiff got his cash, yet the business is only required to do a credit card reversal.